Well, good morning, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Joe Dunlap, and I'm president of North Idaho College. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2014 North Idaho College commencement ceremony. Please rise for the presentation of the colors by the Coeur d'Alene Police Department, the Pledge of Allegiance, and the singing of our national anthem. Post the colors. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
Please be seated. North Idaho College resides on the gathering grounds of the Coeur d'Alene tribe, and we have a sacred trust and relationship with the tribe. At this point, I would like to ask Quanah Matheson of the Coeur d'Alene tribe to come forward and provide us with a Native American blessing. God, Holy Spirit, Heavenly Father, God, very humble, very thankful this morning time that you give us another day of life, all these good relatives that come from far and near. And you shone the sun upon us and you gave happiness and joy in our hearts, Heavenly Father and God. Now I'm very thankful for all these good people, these graduates, all the things that they've had to go through, Heavenly Father, gone. The turmoil, the hardships, and their accomplishment is made evident for them today, Heavenly Father, gone. The joy that they feel, the happiness that they feel, can be extended to all of the people here, all their support systems that came. Wherever they come from, their parents, their aunties, their uncles, their grandparents, their children, you bless them abundantly this morning time, Heavenly Father, gone. And my father, he always used to tell me, our days, Never, God never promised, you never promised these days to come, but here it came, Heavenly Father, gone. And we're very happy that this day has come to us to be in happiness and joy and love for one another, care for one another in the most humble way we can, Heavenly Father, gone. So you bless each and every one of us, these grounds. The Coeur d'Alene people, my people's been praying here for thousands upon thousands of years. And this place has been a place of learning and it still is today, Heavenly Father, gone. And that trust relationship that we have with North Idaho College has continued that tradition of learning, come together, Heavenly Father. So you bless them to put on this graduation, Heavenly Father, gone. I say this prayer in your son's most holy and gracious name, Heavenly Father, God, I pray towards you. Amen. And I also want to uh, offer a uh, it's an appreciation song, a thank you song. And uh, whatever you're appreciative in your heart and your mind, uh, think about it. Think about it while I sing this song. And um, I'll sing two verses of it for each and every one of you good relatives here today. <clears throat> Ha ya 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 
much. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kwana, for your blessings at this gathering on this special day. The spirit of your words is, very, is a very important reminder of the Coeur d'Alene tribe's history on this very site, which was your summer, summer's gathering place. We strive to honor your traditions and culture, and we thank you for joining us today. What an honor it is for me to be with you on this very special occasion. First things first, though, let's recognize and congratulate the North Idaho graduating class of 2014. We have over a thousand candidates for graduation this year, and we have approximately 400 graduates who are participating in today's ceremony. Of those graduating with us today, 185 have earned an academic transfer degree, 200 have earned a professional technical certificate or degree, and 17 are students from our high schools dual enrolled in academic transfer programs. So congratulations to all of you. I want to thank you for your commitment to education, to yourselves, and to this wonderful place, this gathering place we call North Idaho College. Once again, audience, please join me in congratulating this class of 2014. <laughs> Idaho's community colleges share a special privilege of being led by locally elected Board of Trustees. NIC's board members live and work in our community. They know the faculty, the staff, and the students. They share a passion for education excellence that guides this college. It is indeed an honor to introduce them today, and I would ask that you please hold your applause until I have in introduced all of them. And as I introduce you, will you please uh, remain standing? First of all, I'd like to introduce Ken Howard, the chair of our Board of Trustees. Next, Vice Chair Judy Meyer. R Ron Nielsen, who is our Board Secretary and Treasurer. Trustee Christy Wood could not be with us today, but she is one of the five trustees, and trustee Todd Banducci. So join me in thanking these individuals for their service to the college. <laughs> Next, I want to announce and recognize the presence of some special guests who have joined us to celebrate today. As I introduce each of you, please remain standing. And again, I ask you to hold your applause until I have introduced everyone. Uh, first of all, we have Mr. Don Soltman from the Idaho State Board of Education, who last year was the chair of the Idaho Board of Education. Don, thank you for being here. You've met Quanah Matheson, who is here with us today as a member of the Coeur d'Alene tribe and who gave us the Native American blessing. Our guest speaker today, whom I uh, will be introduced to you later on is Mr. Max Mendez. Mr. Benaya Cheevers, president of the Associated Students of North Idaho College. Mr. Richard Fortman, the president-elect of the Associated Students of North Idaho College. Our musical accompanist today is Mr. George Conrad, who has worked directly with the NIC Jazz Ensemble for many years as a keyboardist and is a practicing attorney and private music instructor. Our interpreters today are Teresa Ford uh, and Ashley DeTore. 
President of the North Idaho College Foundation, Mr. John Young. President of the North Idaho College Alumni Association, Ms. Allie Shute. Please join me in recognizing these special guests. Now allow me to tell you about the organizations these last two guests represent. Through their voluntary fundraising efforts, the NIC Foundation generously supports a large number of scholarships for deserving students, including many of you graduates today. In the last year alone, the Foundation provided over $870,000 in scholarships to more than 800 students. The Alumni Association provides opportunities for alumni to serve NIC and our students. Graduates, by virtue of today's ceremony, you automatically become members of the NIC Alumni Association, and we hope you will value that achievement. Thank you for joining us and for helping us make this day so special for our graduates. Please join me again uh, in welcoming all of our special guests. I would now like to introduce uh, some other members of the North Idaho College staff. And uh, again, I would ask you to hold your applause until they have all been introduced. First of all is Dr. Lita Burns, our Vice President of Instruction. Mr. Graydon Stanley, Vice President for Student Services. Mr. Mark Browning, Vice President for Communications and Governmental Affairs. Ms. Sarah Garcia, North Idaho Controller and Acting Vice President for Finance and Business Affairs. Ms. Rael Anderson, Executive Director of North Idaho College Foundation. Dr. Larry Briggs, Dean of General Studies. Mr. Mike Myers, Dean of Professional Technical and Workforce Education. Ms. Christy Doyle, Dean of Health Professions and Nursing. Please join me in thanking these staff members. Thank you. I would now like to reintroduce to you the president of the Associated Students of North Idaho College, Mr. Benaya Cheevers. Now, Benaya, before you speak, I want to thank you for your dedication and service to the college and to your fellow students. We have enjoyed having you tell us about your special activities uh, and the NIC, uh, ASNIC senators bringing to our students uh, a lot of different activities, and we wish you very much success after your graduation. Thank you for your service to the college. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. You know, to be real and to be honest, my journey here at NIC hasn't always been an easy one. And that's for many reasons. There are many issues that we as students face today. Many of us have faced the reality of difficult financial situations. Many of us have faced the reality of the fear of failure. Many of us have probably had to overcome circumstances of family problems, job problems, and even the mistakes of the past that some kind, sometimes come back to haunt us. Why do I start, start out saying all this? I say this because we are here today and it celebrates more than just the achievement of a graduation. Today we celebrate what we have faced and overcome, whatever that may be for each one of us. Now, I wrote this speech and I asked myself all sorts of questions. But the ones that I believe matter the most are these. What are the real, true things in life that matter to us all? What do we believe in and value? Who do we spend our lives with? What common threads might we all have? How are we all similar? And how are we all different? 
I count it to be by the grace of God that I am even honored to stand before you today. Truly, I do. I believe that the very breath in my lungs and the heart beating in my chest is because of the love and grace of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's what I believe. Thank you. Now, I want to ask you what you believe. What motivates you? In whom do you put your hope? Where do you find your strength? It may be the same. It may be completely different. What do you value? Who do you spend your time with? Is it family members, friends, coworkers, your significant other? What do you have in common with these people? If we were all to close our eyes and switch seats with someone on the opposite side of this building and then open our eyes, we'd find ourselves sitting next to somebody new. This person could potentially be very different than you and I. They most likely don't hold all the same exact values that you and I do. They most likely have different educational and career goals than you and I do. And they probably hang out with a lot of different people than you and I do and have a different family than you and I do. But here's one thing that we all have in common. We are here to celebrate the achievement of an associate's degree or certificate and so much more because today is to cherish. Today, you may have friends and family here with you. I encourage you to spend time with them. Don't hesitate to spend time reminiscing. Don't hesitate to dream into the future. Transitions for all of us are awaiting tomorrow. We'll have a new season of life. We'll have a blank page to fill to begin the next chapter of our lives. We'll have a new school to attend or a new job to begin. But today, let's celebrate. Think right now, and even close your eyes if you have to, about your time at NIC. When you applied and registered until this very moment right now. Think about the classes that you took. Think about the events that you attended. And think about the people that you met. Think about all the struggles, and think about the joyous times. One thing that we all have in common is that we've experienced NIC together. Although this institution has impacted us in different ways, as we are each taking our own paths, we all have one thing in common, and that is that we're a part of the NIC family. Now I'd like to leave you with a poem that I wrote, and it's called, Don't Let Hope Fade. Here it is. Through the thick darkness of the night, there shines the light of life despite many terrors that fright. Hurry now, don't waste any more time. Hold fast, take heed, remember reason to rhyme. Upon the seashores of destiny, many do stand in wait. Out upon the waters, the adventures, the greatness, and the mysteries await to be discovered. Unknown to some, blurry to most, and clear to few, weary men tarry, yet while they know, youth carry the question of where to go. Isn't there hope for a blessed destiny? Or has the fear of failure stolen that which we need? Pressure can cause one to become jaded, and in the end, memories may have faded. But pressure can cause an occurrence of beauty when sooty dark lives corrupt with the weight of the world becomes diamonds for others to behold. This beauty has wisdom, this beauty has hope, this beauty has a story to be told. When you stand upon the seashores of your destiny, don't look around and wait for others to see. Take the first step with passion and expectation, for out upon the waters lies the wonders of everything you need. Don't let hope fade. There may be furious storms. Hold fast, hold tight, don't forget about the light. Wish we may, hope we must, live for today and not yesterday's rust. Look at tomorrow with expectation and hope. Climb any mountain you want and be brave. Forget the rope. The weary tarry, the confused miss, but the ready run. Don't let hope fade. Don't wait until all is said and done. There's too much to do and plenty of reasons to rhyme. Don't let hope fade. Don't waste another day. There's too much to do and the world awaits you. As we move on from North Idaho College, don't let hope fade. 
Congratulations to the class of 2014, and thank you. Thank you, Benaya. I appreciate the heartfelt words. I know they'll resonate with many of us today, and I appreciate the effort put into that. Thank you very much. Morning, everyone. My name is Mark Browning. I have the distinct pleasure and privilege of serving in the communications and governmental affairs uh, work here at North Idaho College, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to campus today. I, I hope you enjoy the experience today. I've also been given the very distinct pleasure today of introducing our main speaker, Mr. Max Mendez. Mr. Mendez is currently a music instructor and director of choirs here at North Idaho College. He's been an active part of the Inland Northwest music community for the last 15 years, dividing his time between conducting, teaching, and performing. For the last nine years at North Idaho College, he's conducted the NIC Cardinal Chorale, Chamber Singers, the Vocal Jazz Ensemble. Choirs under Max's direction have given concerts in Mexico, San Francisco, and Seattle. Max has also been a guest conductor, a clinician, and adjudicator for festivals and workshops throughout Idaho and Washington. He's been a conductor and musical director for Eastern Washington University, Spokane Civic Theater, and Coeur d'Alene Summer Theater. He's performed as an opera artist, and has performed with many of the finest concert ensembles here in the Inland Northwest. Max is also a founding member and artistic director of Spokane Choral Artists and a proud member of the Male Ensemble Northwest. He is also a strong advocate for community involvement in the arts and music programs. Please welcome Mr. Max Mendez. Good morning. My esteemed colleagues, friends, families, and most importantly, the commencement class of 2014. I want to thank you for allowing me the honor and privilege to deliver your commencement address. But please know that this has not been an easy task. This incredibly important assignment you have given me in many ways challenged me beyond my comfort zone and demanded that I dig deeper than the performances that I am regularly engaged. For with the performance, I am able to use someone else's words and music and interpret it through my own life experience. What you have done and what you have asked me to do today has tested my courage and my grit. Exactly the same things that this institution asked you to do throughout your time here at North Idaho College. And I have to tell you a little story about my educational life, because it's not unlike yours. My college career started by going to a university, and that lasted one quarter. <laughs> that first experience in higher education left me lost. I returned nine months later to higher education, but this time to a community college and I did not realize the gift that I was given. My community college experience enabled me the ability to explore what was possible for my future. And little did I know that in my first week, I would wander into a choir and find my community. It was at the community college that I discovered my life in music and learned about life through music. But quite frankly, it could have been in any discipline. But through music, I was taught the courage to be community. Having the courage to be community allows you to find those with a shared path, a shared passion, and a shared commitment. The courage to be community means we can act as mentors while being mentored ourselves through others. 
the courage to be community means we can serve others according to our strengths and talents. Such is the case for most of you as you sit here today. To get to this graduation day, each one of you has shown and demonstrated the courage to be community. Now we may ask ourselves, is it really hard to be community? Just being can be interpreted as a passive experience. I see it a different way. I see being a community as actively participating in one another's lives with cooperation and commitment. To get to today's graduation, you've needed to actively participate in our community, this community, the community that is North Idaho College. The famous essayist and satirist Irma Bombeck once said that it takes a lot of courage to show your dreams to someone else. Just as the poet E.E. E. Cummings said, it takes courage to grow up and become who you really are. It takes a community to support all of our dreams. That courage to take a step into the unknown and the uncomfortable of higher education and share your dreams meant that you had to trust those who are already a part of this community. From your advisors to the registrar's office, from financial aid to student services, and even your instructors, you had to endow faith and trust that we would consider you an important part of this community. Along with that courage, you had to show grit, and not the type of grit that you see in a John Wayne type of Western. This community required a mental toughness to keep you working towards your goals and challenges despite setbacks, adversity, and plateaus. Despite challenges of time, stress, family, work, and finances, you showed true grit to get to this day. Hopefully, many of you sought out a mentor. If you didn't, I highly recommend it. It's never too late. You will need a mentor throughout your lifetime. A mentor is someone who shows and helps us see things from a different perspective. Someone who coaches and inspires us to open our minds, hearts, and souls to what can be possible. And over my nine years here, I have found mentors in many places. I have found mentors in my students, like Adrian DeVries and Duncan Menzies, who sit out here with you today. Their persistence, dedication, and service to their art and community has served as a model for my continued development as a musician and an educator. I have found mentors in my colleagues, like Phil Corliss, who helped guide me, yeah, please, you can move, that's good. <laughs> who helped guide me as an artist, an educator, and a human being. Phil is never too busy to dialogue about the art of teaching, travel advice, or insight to our college community. My hope is that one day we can serve as a mentor and have the same profound impact the way that Phil Corliss has served many of us. Because a community college driven by the courage to serve can bring out the best in everyone. You served through student government, service clubs, study groups. You served as an example for one, your loved ones. And by doing this, you served yourselves. You served through challenges of time management, deadlines, and just being plain tired. You served your community. Now call me biased, but I think a choir is the most utopian community that was ever created. Because in a choir, everyone involved, singers, conductors, instrumentalists, all work towards a common goal. And that is to serve the music and serve those who come to listen. Service. A, sex, a successful choir is dependent upon those with more experience helping and guiding those with less experience. Mentorship. 
Those participating in a choir come from all walks of life, from students to faculty to staff to administrators to community members. Music does not judge based on age, political party, spirituality, or theology. It simply asks and demands that you serve to the best of your abilities with passion and persistence, grit. I am so excited to leave you with the possibilities of community and three challenges. One, have the courage to seek out a mentor and also to serve as a mentor. Serve as a model to those who need guidance Continue and discover your mentors and strive to be that mentor to someone else. Two, have the courage to serve a community. Continue to serve your community, whatever community that will become over your lifetime. Now please know that you will always be a part of this North Idaho College community. As alumni and graduates, you can continue to serve our college through participating in the Alumni Association and in working with our foundation for future students and future communities. One of the strongest ways that you can serve your community is to actively vote. You can truly make a difference in your community through the power of your vote. Three. If there is no sense of community to be a part of, then have the courage to form your own community. The rewards of creating community where there previously was none far outweigh the risks. Now with these three in mind, many of you know, I conduct the choirs here at North Idaho College. And it would be out of my character if we didn't sing just a little. This year marks the 200th anniversary of the flag known as the Star Spangled Banner. It is the same flag that served as inspiration for Francis Scott Key's powerful poem and our national anthem. So I'm going to ask you, even though it opened our ceremony, to stand and sing our national anthem one more time. But this time, instead of looking at the flag, I want to challenge you to look into the eyes of those around you, into the eyes of our community. Please stand. Are you ready? You bet, let's okay. go. Okay. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we Twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red the courage to be community. Thank you. Thank you, Max. That is one I know we'll all remember. It is now my pleasure to turn this podium over to our Vice President for Instruction, my peer and my friend, Dr. Lita Burns. Vice President Burns will be announcing the NIC Foundation's Faculty Achievement Awards.
These special awards are given annually to honor our outstanding faculty members for their dedication and service to NIC and to you, our students. Vice President Burns will also be presenting the graduates for conferral of their degrees and certificates. Lita. Thank you, Mark. Each year, North Idaho College Foundation provides funding for Faculty Achievement Awards. The recipients of these awards represent the entire faculty for their excellence in instruction and their service to the college. We, however, each year select a couple of faculty to honor. I have the privilege of presenting the Faculty Achievement Award recipients for the 2013-2014 academic year. The Adjunct Faculty Award goes to Jeff Riggs. Jeff, can you stand and be recognized? Are you here? We also have two full-time faculty achievement awards. The first award, um, the recipient of the $1,000 Faculty Achievement Award, goes to Casey Wilhelm, who teaches in the business division. Casey? <laughs> the second Faculty Achievement Award of $1,500 goes to Phil Corliss, our, <laughs> our outstanding and retiring photography instructor, Phil. And now it is my pleasure to present the graduates for conferral of their earned certificates and degrees. Graduates, please rise. As the Chief Academic Officer of North Idaho College, I have the honor of representing the faculty and the entire instructional team of the college in presenting these graduates for the conferral of their respective degrees and certificates, and recommend that all who have fulfilled the requirements for graduation from North Idaho College be awarded their certificate or degree. President Dunlap, I present to you the graduating class of 2014 for conferral of the appropriate certificates and degrees. Thank you, Lita. Candidates, on the recommendation of the faculty and our Vice President of Instruction, and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and the State of Idaho, I confer upon each of you who have completed the necessary requirements of your respective degrees and certificates, all rights, privileges, and honors appertaining to. At this time, we will proceed with the presentation of the academic and technical graduates by Dr. Larry Brigg, Briggs, Dean of General Studies, Mr. Mike Myers, Dean of Career and Technical Education and Workforce uh, Education, and Ms. Christy Doyle, Dean of Health Professions and Nursing. I will also ask our Board of Trustees to join us in the presentation of degrees and certificates, and I ask other members uh, to uh, come forward and uh, congratulate all the uh, graduates as they receive their diploma. Before we begin, I want to mention that we will be taking photos, um, and that will be in this area to the left, so please uh, be aware of that uh, line of sight.
Kimberly Gilcrease. Angela Durick. Tanner Chiro. Dylan Livingston. Carissa Holt. Joshua Swan. April Warswick. <laughs> Amelia Schwab. Teresa Henderson. Daniel Sheffield. Joel Thomas Sheets. Desiree Nora Sheets. Lacey Evig Liliano. Catherine Brands. That's my sister! <laughs> David Brands. Joshua Brands. Benaya Cheevers. Dorian Kaiser. Bonnie Nemec. Brianna Medlin. Caitlin Cousins. Kayla Zion. Michelle Wood. Drasana McPherson. Tara Harris. Angela Workman. Michaela Straw. Melissa Clemens. Jessica Ormisher. Dana Bose. Emily Sun. <laughs> Levi Tyler.
David Roth. William Osterlin. Nathaniel Edwards. Samuel Kern. Sheldon Kretz. Travis Gunderson. Samuel Sandell the third. Samuel Brock. Forrest Lundstrom. Albert Rodenko. Justin Margison. Jordan Schaefer. Daniel Ritz. Michael Pearson. Christopher Schultz. Noah Wagner. Aaron Wagner. Marsha Perta. Marissa Perta. Alidra Mickelson. Kent Johnson, Jr. Craig Faulkner. John Aspentardi. Aspentardi! Tim Bull. Timothy Robinson. Kevin Hall. Anthony Reno. Lindsay Johnson. Amber Ferguson. Dakota Badawadami. Steve Long. Eric Chambers. Travis McCulley. Christopher Howard. Cam Mix. Jake Oslin. Casey Bruner. Jake 
Jordan Duller. Eric Arnold. Nathan Banner. Talisa Jorkovic. Amy Jones. Catherine Clamper. Eric Wallace. Claudia Schenick. Camber Kraft. Krista Adelberger. Scott Kinsting. Thomas Tanner. Juliana Henry. Victoria Kazad. Patricia Kardash. Sarah Luther. Kelsey Rowan. Sari Mays. Nicole Brazil. Cassandra Somas. Greta Pierce. Jessica Peterson. Chelsea Mallory. Paula Rucker. <laughs> Carrie Westbrook. <laughs> Courtney Palachuk. <laughs> Kathy West. Rowan Murdoch. Samantha Tyler Blood. Val Nighting. Juan Quambarius. Rachel Cherson. Lori Loudenbach. Jocelyn Myers. Carly. Garcia Granados. John Hickman. Woo! 
Jacob Chos. Todd Cole. Cody Siegel. Aaron Benjamin. Paul Smith, Jr. Ryan Brown. Danielle Brust. Spencer Hollis Kleiser. Jason McGovern. Gary Hill. Joshua Vandiver. Trevor Michaels. Jason Harris. Troy Fairbank. Marissa Crosby. Danae Salloway. Carly Osika. Brooke Erickson. Jacob Carlton. Garrett Cockrell. David Mitch. Brian Nixon. Greg Johnston. William Milliken. Cassandra Penley. Lori Malin. Shaylin Vandiver. Mackenzie Gallag Gallagher. Mackenzie Adamson. Jennifer Herman. Nicole Adams. Jess Walker. Michelle Walker. Vera Robinson. Larry Flanagan. Hayden James. Daniel Rogers. Tyler Anderson. Madison Rowley. Hey. Faye Bill. Holly Kent.
Andrew Huddleston. Joshua Severins. Donald Cunnington II. Jacob Cunnington. Emily Plummer. Mariah Chavez. Sky Teske. Brianna Kellogg. Jennifer Carver. Jessica Rohrbach. Courtney Swanson. Bonnie Mitson. Samantha Williamson. Duncan Menzies. Katie Henriksen. Emily Ingle. Adrian DeVries. Brandon Cervenka. Colin Nordhausen. Rachel Finney. Garrett Cabeza. Oops. Carly Blodnick. Sydney Dietrich. Brandon Mason. Jeremy West. Christopher Smith. Willow Johnson. Kendra Dodge. Linda Copham. Jason Vesser. Carrie Mitchell. Joe Kidd. David McCarricker. Scott Hopp. Alex Barler, Barley. Michael Coosley. Lauren Palmer. Michael Chamberlain. Russell Bryan Ward. Jamie Ann Davis. Emily Nicole Mittman. Yeah. 
Brittany Yant. Daniel Sinensky. John Davis. Sherry Bloom. Dunaya Egley. Evan Paris. Teresa Grubbs. Lisa Marie Duffy Way. Jasmine McNamee. <laughs> Sheila Frazier. <laughs> Andrea Ernst. <laughs> Nathan Drexel. Joel Chu, Jennifer Glynn, Diana Kim Fisher, Sherry Lara, Tanya L. Allen. Jessica Houston. Cassie Kelly. Tim Rowe. Justin Storr. Drew Eggers. Christopher Bow, Deborah Ferguson, Dorina Croc, Shane Warmbrot, Tamara Cup. Caitlin Gomond. Matthew Murphy. Chantalia Gustin. Jolene Montano. Jessica Ferreira. Sabrina Louise Rice. Jesse Rakowski Nash. Sherry Bartlett. Cheryl Bourne. Joey Levesque. Kylie Fournier. Karen Aker. Cami Wild. Amber Levine. <laughs> Valerie Mark. <laughs> Will Mark. 
Rachel Wheatley. Nathan Brooks. Sherry Welling. Evan Finity. Gavin Hughes. Elizabeth Johnson. Nathan Ruth. Joseph Malloy. Aaron Dupuy. Shane Getz. Alyssa Nicholson Lamb. Haley Mabbitt. Russell Lundberg. Jason Patterson. Jeremy Bront. Go, Jeremy! Pronounced toy, like kids play with Ladro. Toy Ladro. Austin Keith. Woo! Alexander Romero. Kevin Yazi. Mark Emerson. Connor Fiscus. Wayne Stoley. Guy Jordan. Michael Sexsmiths. Hugh Fenton. Azra Abdegich. <laughs> Teresa Dittman. Sonia D. Kelly. Brandy Davis. Anita Dixon. Shanna Torp. Mallory Raukama. Justin Deal. Robert Bauer. Matilda Bob. Jared Fessner. Tony Holmes. Anthony Field. Jesse Brown. Caitlin Hunt. Leah Muzzy. Lisa Holland. Julie Miller. Mariah Newfield. Diana Smith.
Jessica Brereton. Danielle Sargent. Kimberly Atkins. Ryan Etner. Grace Stamsos. Rafe Nimitz. Brianna Brunton. Gabriel D. Kraus. Vance Campbell. Casey Moore. Eva Davison. Amanda Arippa. Matthew Hart. Bryce Muncy. Kurt Hay. Christopher Taylor. Corey Bliss. Brian Hopper. John Kitchen. Blaine Graining. Sean Pinnell. Stephanie Mullen. Stacy Smith. Jennifer Rector. Marvella Bjorquist. Ramona Sharp. Tracy Larson. Jean Seagraves. Pamela Balbi. Thomas Elder. Sarah Connor. Kylie Cruteau. Samantha Russo. Chris Rathbun. Kyle Groom. Tolly Beatty. Joy Jones. Melvin Parker Jr. David Stone. Marianne Burns. Sarah Spiller. Erica Blessing. Haney. Kimberly Haney. Matthew Robbins. Charles Brennan. Nathan Cantrell Field. Yeah. 
Rene Mokshiski. Jocelyn Standler. Kelly Watson. Jordan Moyer. Jaylee Sines. Guilford Thomas. How's everybody feeling? Okay, I think we got it down, so now we're going to do it for real. We'll line every... Is that okay, President? Yeah. Our epilogue today is the work of ASNIC President Benai Achievers.
Graduates, please stand. You are official college graduates now. Please move your tassels from the right to the left side. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, I proudly present to you, the North Idaho College Class of 2014. Graduates, now that you have officially had your degrees and certificates conferred, I ask you to offer the faculty and staff of North Idaho College assembled here today a round of applause for their job well done. Although, although we would like to take credit for all your impressive qualities and accomplishments, we readily admit that the people who had the most to do with you getting to this graduation today are your parents, families, friends, and loved ones. They supported you, they believed in you, and they had faith, even though you may have temporarily lost it yourself. Please turn around, find in the crowd those loved ones, and let's hear it for the individuals who helped you make it today. Well, folks, as we begin our uh, recessional, the stage party will exit first followed by the faculty, and finally the class of 2014. As you leave the gymnasium, we ask that students and faculty gather between the gymnasium and the student union building for an aerial photograph uh, and the cap toss. And as part of today's festivities, the Alumni Association will be hosting a reception for you and your families outside the student union building immediately following this ceremony. After the toss cap, we invite graduates to gather with their guests, with their guests and enjoy uh, the refreshments. Audience, please stand with the recessional music and remain standing until the graduates exit. Thank you.